After the original Z9's success, speculation regarding the Nikon Z9 II has increased. This new model is said to introduce exciting features, such as global shutter technology. However, the question remains, will these rumoured advancements be enough to fit current camera market trends or compete with rivals like Sony? Does the Z9 II truly need a global shutter? Let's find out. The Nikon Z9 II is likely to keep the strong, weather-resistant design of the original model. Photographers appreciate the built-in vertical grip, which makes it easier to handle the camera during long shooting sessions. Unlike Sony's approach with a smaller body and optional vertical grip, Nikon plans to stick with a single body design. This is meant to attract DSLR users who are switching to mirrorless cameras. The Z9 II is expected to have durable construction, with a reinforced magnesium alloy body and extensive weather sealing that professionals need in tough conditions. We can also expect improvements to the tilting touchscreen and better button placement for easier use and comfort. The most significant technical advancement rumored for the Z9 II is the implementation of global shutter technology. This feature could eliminate rolling shutter distortion in high-speed photography. Early rumors suggested that the camera will use a 20.4 megapixel sensor with a readout speed of 0.5 milliseconds, marking a strategic decrease from the original Z9's 45.7 megapixels. However, recent leaks indicate that Nikon will implement a 61 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor from Sony, similar to those used in Sony's earlier models. The rumoured extraordinary readout speed enables continuous shooting speeds that match or exceed 120 frames per second with full autofocus and auto exposure tracking. Additionally, the flash sync capabilities are expected to reach up to 1 2,000th of a second, providing creative versatility for studio photographers who rely on artificial lighting. Also, whispers suggest a high resolution mode for photographers to alternate between speed and detail. As details about the Nikon Z9 II emerge, it is expected to excel in high-speed shooting with its global shutter sensor, ideal for sports and wildlife photography. In terms of video capabilities, the Z9 II is likely to build upon the impressive features of the original model. Rumors that the 10-bit ProRes 422HQ and 12-bit ProRes RAW HQ recording from launch potentially surpass the Z9's ability to shoot RAW 8K at 60p video internally. Nikon is likely to explore real-time LUT applications and enhanced codec options like ProRes RAW and 12-bit NRAW for better post-production flexibility. Improved heat management systems are expected to enable longer recording times without overheating. The Z92 may also enhance low-light performance, pushing ISO ranges further and incorporating advanced noise reduction. Additionally, autofocus improvements are anticipated, with new tracking algorithms that maintain focus on fast-moving subjects even if they briefly leave the frame. One of the most exciting aspects of the rumored specifications for the Nikon Z9 II is its potential use of the X-Speed 8 processor. This next-generation processor is expected to enhance overall camera performance significantly compared to its predecessor's X-Speed 7 processors. The X-Speed 8 could provide faster image processing speeds, improved buffer management, and enhanced noise reduction capabilities factors critical for both still photography and videography. With dual X-Speed 8 processors potentially powering the Z9 II, photographers can expect smoother operation during high-speed shooting scenarios and improved handling of large files generated by 8K video recording or high-resolution stills. This advancement could also lead to faster autofocus acquisition times and more efficient data transfer rates when saving images or videos.
the Nikon Z92 will face stiff competition from models like Sony's A93 and Canon's EOS R1. Both competitors have set high bars in professional photography with their respective offerings featuring global shutter technology and advanced autofocus systems. The Sony A93 boasts a 24.6 megapixel Exmor RS CMOS sensor and has been praised for its flash sync capabilities of up to 1 8,000 a second, a significant advantage in specific high-speed lighting scenarios. In contrast, the earlier Z92's resolution rumor is lower at 20.4 megapixels. If true, its focus on speed and processing efficiency could make it an appealing choice for professionals who prioritize performance over pixel count. Both cameras offer impressive continuous shooting capabilities. However, real-world performance differences will ultimately determine which model excels in various shooting conditions. The dual Xpeed 8 processor system in the Z92 may provide advantages in buffer depth and processing speed compared to Sony's single processor setup. Initially rumored for release during the 2024 Olympics in Paris, the Nikon Z92 is now expected to debut sometime between 2025 and 2026. This timeline indicates Nikon's readiness to compete in an evolving market where innovation is key. Following Nikon's competitive pricing strategy with the original Z9 priced at $5,500, the Z92 is likely to maintain a similar price point. This positioning would make it an attractive investment for professional photographers looking for top-tier performance without exorbitant costs. There are rumors about a new model, possibly named the Z9H, that may include global shutter technology. There's also a discussion about whether the Z92 needs this feature. The Sony A93 has set a high standard with its global shutter which reduces distortion during fast action shots. However, Nikon's current stacked sensor technology already significantly reduces rolling shutter effects. This means that while global shutter technology could improve performance, it may not be necessary for all photographers. Whether Nikon includes global shutter technology in the Z92 may depend on their strategy to meet the needs of different professional photographers. Some photographers focus on speed and action, while others prioritize higher resolution or better video features. Thanks for tuning in. Will professionals accept this trade-off for speed, or will they demand more resolution? Let's discuss.